Welcome back to the Mendiola FC save, where I was going to come back much later, but all of a sudden, we have a really interesting couple of games where we're going to play Kaya away for essentially first place in the league, and then we have DHC in the PFL Cup third round. We got a very tough away draw, and that away draw to DHC becomes even more interesting because we lost to them at home in one of our last matches. Where if we look at the match report, we were the better side. We had significantly higher XG, we had more shots, but we allowed two goals and we lost the match. First up, we have a very interesting match against Kaya for the top of the league. Kaya are in second place currently. We do have a match in hand on them and we have one point ahead of them. But they have absolutely been insane with their goal scoring totals. If we look at their squad, they have been scoring crazy. Like they beat us, or we beat them 4 0. And honestly, it might have been a bit of a fluke game. They got five against United City, three against Maharla Camadola, six against Stallion, five against ADT. And when they don't score three more goals, three or more goals, they tend to draw or lose. So our goal today. It's going to make sure they don't score too many, obviously. <laughs> the other big piece of news is that we've made a loan signing since the last time I saw you guys. We have signed Gary Espesso from Stallion, a three and a half star advanced forward. He's got really nice physical attributes and a decent Holy Trinity, good off the ball. So we're hoping he's going to be a good player. I don't think he's played yet for Stallion this season, but we have brought him in. Because other than Jung Hyun, our forward play hasn't been very good. For most matches, we have been starting Sasako. And as you guys can see here, these great ratings over here were all during the friendlies, preseason friendlies. This was the first match of the season, and everything's kind of been below a 7.0. He had two games where he did pretty well. But you can see here, he's just been poor in the past few games. So after that, I tried to get Ricky Cruz in, but if we look at his form too, it's been pretty mid, like he's been okay off the bench, but I mean, he's just been okay. He hasn't scored a whole lot of goals. And our other big option, Paulo Casambre, who if we look at his form, he's just kind of okay too. I mean, he got an assist, but he hasn't scored many goals. He was doing good in preseason, but it just hasn't really transferred over. The other options, of course, are Muhammad and Chio, who I just don't think have been as good this year if we look at Chio's form. This might be a little bit of my fault um, because he's, he's not super match fit the, given that I haven't played him a whole lot, but the ratings haven't been very good. So we bought an Espresso to hopefully give us a little bit of a spark to our front line. But otherwise, this is the team that's going to be playing against Kaya today. We have a really strong lineup. It's pretty much our best team. So we will get into the match. I'll see you all there. Huge match away to Kaya today. They are playing their 4-4-2 formation. And between Asare and Dizon up top, they have some players that we are worried about. It's these two up top who have done the business for them this season. We got to hope that Okiagu and I believe we have Kofi starting will be able to stop them. But it's an early opportunity for Kaya here. And it's a good cross into the box. Well done by Rancis, but it goes out to Horikashi. It falls to Anhalis. Oh, and they've scored early. This is not good. Anhalis finds the back of the net. Oh, wow. Well, nice little knee slide there for Kaya. But we are losing 1-0 early. We've generally had good starts to matches. I think this is the first time we really had a bad start. But an opportunity to have to kick off here. We need to see if he can get something going. Make sure we don't allow a turnover here. And we've placed it into Ronsis. He plays a lovely ball out to Sohyun. Can we get in behind here? Good ball in. Oh, keep going, keep going. Take the shot. <laughs> Tied it back up. What a finish. I think it might have deflected in off the post. But we are tied 1-1. A dramatic start to the match here. Rosley on the throw. He gets it into Jong Hyun. And he looks forward to Espeso. Good ball in from Almento. Oh, and it's off the bar. What a header from Su Hyun. 
well played by Kai as they look forward. I might need to drop So Hyun here. That's a good ball in. What a save by Hyun Dun. An acrobatic save. We have a corner. So Hyun knocks it in. He looks to the back post. It falls to Elmento. This is a great opportunity. Francis, go! Let's go! John Rancis finds the back of the net. We've taken a 2-1 lead at Kaya. It fell to the edge of the box. I don't know who had the first opportunity. It was cleared, but Almento on the edge of the box. I thought he was going to store. But Rancis with the first time finish. We take a 2-1 lead. Let's go! Time is ticking away towards the half. But there is another highlight before we get there. Well won by Jihan in the middle. Can he find the right pass? He finds Espeso. Good ball into Jihan. Oh, and it's a good save. That was an opportunity as he came in through one-on-one. -on -one. And we are so close to halftime here. Frosley swings the ball into Suhyun. Oh, it's well over. And I think that will probably take us to the half. It absolutely does. We lead 2-1 at half. We've been... Oh, it's we've been the better team, but it hasn't been a huge difference. We're going to tell them we're happy and hope that gets us through into the second half as Kaya get us underway. Oh, no, there's another opportunity. This suggests it's a real highlight. Gara plays it into Angelis. He was the goal scorer with a great finish. It falls to Reed. How has that gone in? What happened there? I have no idea what just happened. Did it deflect? That that looked like a very innocuous shot. Alright, so Gara plays it in. He plays it there. Falls to Reed. Oh, it's deflected. Well, that's unfortunate. We can still absolutely get something from this match. There's no reason for that to discourage us. Rancis plays it into Suhyun. And we've scored! What a finish! I don't know how Su Hyun found that. Did that did that deflect? I don't think there was any reason for that to go in. Well, Rancis plays it into Su Hyun. They do a nice little one-two here. It shot, and maybe it deflected. Either that or it was a great finish, but we take another lead. Very fortunate. We are very fortunate to take that lead. Well, honestly, Espeso hasn't had the best of games either. Sasako's nervous, so I think I'm going to go with... Ricky Cruz, and we're going to see if our forward play can get a little bit better. All right, Kofi, pick the right ball. Good ball out wide. Let's work it forward here. Well done, Almento, playing it into Jihun. Can he find the right ball? He finds Jonghyun. Can we swing it into the box? He finds Almento. Can we get a shot off? Oh, that was a good opportunity. I thought that had went in. Time... I don't really want to make subs at this point. I don't. There's no other subs I really want to make. I feel like players are playing well. I might bring on someone like Joki for Ji Hun at some point. Yes, we've scored. Almento finds the back of the net. Brilliant play from Almento. Oh, and great play from Su Hyun getting around the outside, and we lead four to two. We'll see what they do here. If we're able to win possession. Oh, Jihan, that was the opportunity. Bass takes the shot from distance. It hits the bar and off the rebound. We're a little bit fortunate there not to allow something. And Ramsey with the corner. He's going to look for Asare or Dizon. I don't know who that was, but it does sail over the bar. Oh, and he finds Horikoshi out wide. Come on, Rancis. Oh, that's a good ball into Bass. That's a good opportunity. It's a great save. And it's cleared away. Sampania looking to hit the ball forward. I have made some substitutions to hopefully waste some time and sure up the defense just in case. I waited to make those substitutions, though. I felt like we were playing well. Oh, Jiung Han, how have you missed that? That would have put the game away for sure. Our subs are in. Time is ticking away. Oh, there's still two minutes left. Francis deals with Horikashi, but he forces him back into the middle. It falls to Gugas. 
Gare on the outside. Oh, he's going to put it across to Ramsey. He shoots. Oh, my word. This game is so nerve-wracking. I don't like that. We are going to do everything we can to make sure that we can... If we can get a win here, it's going to be huge. A way to Kaya would be phenomenal. We're doing everything we can. We're coming to the end of the match. Oh, there's a corner highlight. This... Oh, man, my heart's beating so fast. It falls to Christians. It's cleared away by Ronsis. It goes in again. Well done, Hyun Dun. Well done. All right, let's move the ball forward. Let's end the match. The final whistle brings it to a close. A huge 4-3 victory against Kaya. Oh, what a huge victory. That was something really special. Oh, the sigh of relief. Well, that is an absolutely monumental win that takes us to the top of the league. We are four points clear at the top of the league with a match in hand. I don't know who our match in hand is against, but next up in the league, we have Maharlika Manila, who we absolutely should beat, ADT, Stallion, and then everything starts again. Also, I've scheduled a friendly against Dolphins United because we have quite a bit of time in between there. But next up, DHC in 14 days. So I will continue forward 14 days to our PFL Cup third round match against DHC. I will see you all then. Welcome back. We are here for the PFL Cup third round match against DHC, which if we remember... Last time we played them, we lost 2-1 at home. So today, we will be looking for revenge in the PFL Cup, which I believe we can win. And it'll be nice because we can use that revenge pep talk to hopefully fire up our players. And this is going to be the team facing DHC. Unfortunately, I don't know if you guys can see this, but Hazabula, who's been playing that ball-winning midfielder role, is suspended, as well as Park Soo Hyun, who normally plays out wide. So replacing them coming in, we have brought in Joki and moved Ji Hyun back to a ball-winning midfielder role, and we have brought in Sylvanas to play out on with. And I'm giving Ricky Cruz a chance up top to see what he can do out there, but otherwise the team is relatively unchanged. So this is going to be the team trying to win in the PFL League Cup third round against DHC. Let's get on with it. And sure enough, we have that wonderful We Owe DHC after what happened in our last match. Get revenge pep talk. We are going to use that today. We are firing up our players and we will go into the match. And the first highlight of the match goes to Mendiol FC. It's brought in. Oh, and it's going to be cleared by DHC. And actually, they're working it around quite nicely, and they are looking to counter Paulo Gonzalez, one of our former players, but Jihan does an excellent job winning it. Oh, it's a decent knockdown, but it doesn't find one of our players, and DHC are off to the races. They've actually got numbers forward. Oh, that's a pour by Rosely. It falls to Gonzalez. That's not a pen. 100% he got the ball. He got the ball. Oh, and it's our forward player, Paolo Gonzalez, who was so good for us last year. Come on, Hyun Dun, make the save. It's saved by Hyun Dun. He denies him, and we are still in the match. Actually, it's a good start for DHC, though. Del Rosario plays it in. He's looking, and it's well cleared by DS, but it falls to them. And it's another... Oh, I thought it was safe. Paolo Gonzalez having a good start to the match. I am... Literally playing this game the night before the biggest exam of my life. But I don't know what else to do. I've studied I've been studying for this exam for months. I've done my scout report on the exam. I've done my training schedule for the exam. I've studied. I've brought in my match focuses. There's nothing else to do but play the match tomorrow. And this is like a month-long exam. So by the time by the time, and Paul Gonzalez hits over the bar there. Maybe by the time this video comes out, I'll be, I'll be done. I don't know. Or maybe it could come out right before, right before the last part of my exam, which is the orals. But 
and you guys don't need to hear it. I'm just I'm just waffling at this point, just trying to get my nervous energy out, you know, by playing football manager. But that's why we play the game, right? It helps us to uh, think about other things. But that being said, I've, I've waffled on here. DHC have been absolutely the better team. And Paulo, Kofi, what are you doing, man? Conan Kofi just let Paulo Gonzalez absolutely tower over him. He hasn't even tried to go up for that header. And we are losing 1-0. And we are going to need a much better second half. We haven't had... We've had our first shot there. I don't really know why DHC always... DHC just seems to have our number this season. We're going to go to the dressing room, thrash arms, tell them they've been terrible. Why does he feel disheartened? We'll go into the second half, and if we don't, if things aren't better, then we're going to need to make some serious changes. All right, we have an opportunity to get the ball forward. Not very well, though. Uzoka wins it. We can, oh, what? Gian, go in for the tackle. You just let him run by you. It falls to Braga. Oh, and it hits the post. And it goes out of play. Um, I think it's time to make some subs. They have three in the middle. We need to change that. We need to get numbers in here, I think. So I am taking a big risk here, but we're going with a 4-3-3, but with three up top. So this is going to be a huge risk, but we haven't played well. We need to create something. This is what I'm going for. All right, this is our first highlight of the game. We really haven't done anything. And Albino, and not really the best option, but we will take that, I guess. Well done, Hyun Dun, well done. Clear the ball forward. Let's get it up to Jung Hyun. He might be able to win a header and knock it down for someone exactly like that. Play him in. No, Ji Hyun. Oh, he's too wide. Finds Sasako, Albino, Rosli, get the ball into the box. Get it in! Get it in! Put it in! Oh, man! Oh, he needed to put it in earlier on the ground. All right, another opportunity for Joki. I think our changes have... Oh, he's offsides. Yeah, he's offsides. We're getting more opportunities, I think. I'm going to make another tactical adjustment by putting these guys forward. Like... There's no point in... Actually, let's go wingbacks on support. There's no point at this stage of the match in getting a draw. Like, we can't worry about losing. We have to go for the win. Otherwise, we're out of the PFL Cup. So it doesn't matter what we do. We have to try and win. And Jihun gets it there. And a little struggle there, but it falls to Joki. Finds Francis. Good opportunities here. With the strike, with the goal! The changes have worked. I'm keeping things attacking. Let's get another one. Let's keep going. We want to win this match. There is no point in settling for it. Oh, no, not right off the kickoff. Come on, guys. Let's win the ball back. We've increased our pressure. We have three up top. There's no reason for them to be doing this. All right, here and done. Get it forward. Okay, just get it forward. It goes to Sasako. We win it with Albino. Oh, Albino, play him in. One more. One more ball. Oh, we, we had him over the top there. That's okay. It's a decent cross in. Jung Hyun, no, it falls to Rancis. Get the shot off. What a save by Cruz. This match is electric now. Oh, boy. What a match this is turning out to be. Rancis plays it into Ji Hun. It's a great cross. Oh, that was an opportunity. And we have grown into the game, but we're also, I, I am leaving numbers, like, I am pushing numbers forward. There are not a whole lot of numbers back, so there's absolutely no reason that DHC couldn't hit us on the counter or something. I've also raised the lines. They can definitely get it behind, just as they're trying to do there. But it flows through to Hyun Dun. Can we look forward? Jung Hyun is the guy to aim for. He wins it, knocks it down to Sasako. That's exactly what we wanted. Can we get a cross it? We get a weird cross in. Falls to Jihun. He is wide open. Can we get it back to Sasako there? He is wide open. Joki hits it from distance. My word. Oh, and it goes to extra time. I'm going to tell them. I don't know what to tell them. 
I'm going to tell them, you know what? I'm happy with the way things are going. That's going to put them into a good mindset, hopefully. And I believe I have another two subs, but I don't know if I have anyone I want to bring in at this point. So we might take out Rosli for Romley at some point, just because he's looking really tired. That was a terrible pass. So that might be the next sub, and then I don't know what we'll do after that. An opportunity here for DHC to swing the ball forward. Getting it wide will be good for them. We have no one out wide. We're very much going through the middle. Jokey playing the ball nicely there. Oh, not a good ball down the line. And it's an opportunity for DHC to attack here. Okiagu wins it well. He finds Jihun. Oh, the ball was here to Ronsis. That's the ball there. Go down the line. Just take your space. Keep dribbling. Take your space. Keep going. Great ball into Rosli. Get down the line. Play the ball. No, why are you shooting it? Sasako was open right there. Okiagu wins it. Oh, poor by Jihun. Get back. Follow him. Follow him. He's the guy. And at the back post there. Get goal side. Oh, that's going to be a shot. Oh, that's going to be a shot, and it's it's blocked. We got it away. Time is ticking away, and I think that's going to be it. And it goes to pens. And the first penalty shootout of the Mendiola FC save. DHC starts us off. He makes the save. What a save. Is this a good angle? If you guys don't like this angle, let me know, because maybe I'll change it. We can go to like a behind the goal angle if you don't like it. Josie shoots. Oh, but it's saved. Oh, no. I thought we had the advantage there, and it's all square. Braga steps up. Come on, Hyundun. Hyundun makes the save. What a save. Two saves. It's absolutely terrible penalties across the board in this penalty kick shootout. Julian Reyes steps up. He scores! The first goal of the shootout. We have some terrible penalty takers coming up. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not expecting to win this shootout. De Leon steps up. It's another save from Hyundun. Another save. Gary Espeso steps up. The Loney from Stallion. Let's see what he's got. He scores right down the middle. We need one more pen to go in. Or Hyun Dun to save it. Hyun Dun has been an absolute hero in this penalty kick shootout. We just need one to go in or one to be saved. It's Salahit for DHC. He steps up. Uh, it's a very good pen. It is a very good pen to be fair to him. All right. I don't know who's up now. I don't know who I set forth. I always set the PK takers. I don't know who's up next. I can't see who it is yet. It is Sun Jung Hyun. He actually missed a penalty earlier in the season. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Not super confident. He steps up. He scores! We are through to the next round of the PFL Cup. What a dramatic, dramatic series of events. We a comeback victory. Remember, they did get a lot of this XG on their missed pen. But Gonzalez misses a pen, our former player, before getting his revenge on us. But then Jokey steps up and scores, and we win in the penalty kick shootout. I'm going to tell them I'm proud of them. What a dramatic, dramatic episode. What a way to go. Well, there has been some serious drama in this save. And if we end up doing anything in the PFL Cup, in Hyun Dun, saving three penalties, actually four penalties total. He saved one pen in the game from Gonzalez, and then three in the penalty kick shootout. We have an absolute wonder kid of a goalkeeper. What the drama. I mean, this, this episode couldn't have gone any better. With a, a dramatic 4-3 win against Kaya, followed by actually our first draw of the season. And what a story this has been. What a dramatic episode. One of my favorites of the series so far. I hope you all are enjoying it. But with that, I hope you all are having a wonderful week. 
I'm going to go take an exam tomorrow. And this is like a month long process. I've got, I've got two days of written to, like starting tomorrow. And then I have like a week where I have to write a lit review thing. And then I've got another week where I have to write a grant. And then like a week after that, I take orals. So I'll be playing football manager in the meantime. So I'm sure I still have episodes just, uh, just because it's a nice, you know, nice break from the stress. So with that, uh, you guys didn't really need to hear that therapy session, I suppose, but uh, it's, it is what it is. But thank you all for listening. If you, if you are still here watching this video, uh, I appreciate you watching and I hope that you all are getting something from this and that this is enjoyable for you. It is enjoyable for me, but admittedly, it, it is also just a nice catharsis to be able to play football manager and uh, talk to you all. So. All right. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope wherever you are, that you are doing well, that you are happy and healthy, and I will see you all whenever the next one comes out. So see you all then.